Okay, in an attempt to roughly pick up where we left off, um, the gear is driving me mad, but I think we were somewhere around here, Super Bowl Sunday. So let's put these puppies in the book, huh? Let's see. Did a few minor improvements here. One of which isn't exactly this camera setup. I'm trying to figure out what to do there. Open to suggestions. Right now I've swapped out my iPhone for this old Sony camera that I have. It's a Sony A5100. Gives me a couple of headaches. It looks pretty good, but it does overheat around 12 to 15 minutes after you start recording. I have like a kit zoom lens on it that's a little bit better than my wide angle lens on my phone. The regular lens is fine. It's the wide that I don't enjoy. It gets too soft when I zoom out. But with this, I can zoom out and zoom in and it's fine. This one I took purely for the pattern on this woman's shirt here. I thought it was really funny butted up against the the butt of this dog she was carrying. Um, it was just kind of a interesting character and it was probably more funny from the front, but that's not where I was. So we'll put it in here. Okay. Now this one, I really like. So this is exactly how it feels to be in Italy. It's like you walk by places like this constantly, or at least within Venice and Rome and places like that. I can only assume it's different elsewhere in the country, but Definitely Aperol Spritz heavy, lots of bottled beverages being out, um, half drank things. But whenever I look at this photograph, I can smell the environment. I can almost feel the stickiness of the table. And it's almost like the longer I look at it, the more I love it. Like I love the red of the Coke. I've definitely seen an image like this before, but I don't care. It's um, this one's for me, you know? Um, but I, I like the little reflection. You know, this is kind of like something you don't really notice in the moment, but you can appreciate in hindsight. I like the reflections on the table from the glass. But I think the Aperol logo and then the almost completely drank Coke here and then in this bottle tell a fun little story and even though this was on the point-and-shoot camera which I can actually show you this is it here so this is the Minolta uh, Panorama 140 EX or whatever this is it I have a roll in here right now what do I have in here I have Kodak 400 and this is the date problem that I have with it right here. Come on, focus. This is why I picked you. Don't make misbehave. Don't do me like that. Just, just, there we go. That's close. So I can change the date, but I don't want to see it at all. You select mode on here and it will change, but there's something going on 
with the battery, like whenever you turn it on, it just resets. And then eventually, you know, I have to cycle through here again. And this will fade away for some reason. But I've had this roll in here for a bit. And actually both my, see it resets, it's weird. I don't understand what's happening. But this is the issue with this camera. I gotta figure out what to do with it. Might be time to retire it and look into other analog point and shoots. I love having a point and shoot, you know, like you run into the potential problem of missing focus or whatever, but that's kind of part of it. You know, you can't get every shot, you can only try. And it's part of the fun anyway. All right. So this is how we're looking here. It's pretty good. All right. Moving on. Let's see here. What else do we have? This was like a... Um, Pizza parlor, I tried to, you know, it was like a thing of like in passing. I thought it'd be cool if there was a person here, but they didn't show up, so I took it anyway. I like the colors, so maybe we'll put that there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a selfie. A little blurry. It's okay. Um, but the flash was kind of fun. I think it's interesting how the exposure here is prioritized over the sun in the background. It almost looks like we're, almost like we're nowhere. It's kind of weird, um, but you can, there's a feeling in here, it makes me smile. So maybe we'll put these like this here. It's kind of fun. Oh, this is fun. This guy, carrying this big fish and this woman here is fascinated by it. I'll zoom in here in a second, but to get a better sense of the composition here, this is tricky with this camera. I'm definitely going to have to play around to find what's the right piece of something to use. I like the autofocus on this thing, but whatever. This here is a really pretty way to frame this moment or so I thought, um, but check out how big this fish is. Look at this, this is insane. Okay, so this is the, the guy's, obviously his head in comparison to just the tail of the fish. The next one I have a close up of the fish. This woman's fascinated by it though. She's, she's just kind of like, wow, that might be the biggest fish I've ever seen. And that's why I took a photo of it because I, I don't know, these carts going up the steps were fascinating to me. This, you know, laborer of food um, at, in this really busy area where tourists are walking around. It was just really cool. Okay, so maybe we'll put that one there. Oh, this is perfect. So it's like the, the dream setup, right, where it's a portrait and then a landscape. So the landscape is a close-up here of the fish with the sun hitting almost in the perfect spot here. But you can kind of see the eye a little bit there. The light's just hitting it really nice. It's backlit. And the shadow cast from the iron thing here is cool. And the wheel, I don't know. Yes, Alyssa? I was trying to be quiet. Well. Oh gosh. Huh? Yeah, that's us. Given that it was taken, was that taken on film? Yeah. It kind of looks like it's from like early 2000s. Well, it's got that vibe. Mm -hmm. Probably because of the flash and the mm -hmm. fact that it's out of focus, probably too. Okay. Hi, Quiggies. What are you doing? The whole fam damley's in here. <laughs> okay. Let's put this guy up top here. And put this one down here. Ah. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I just don't. There we go. This is good enough. Perfect. Okay. 
And this vantage point isn't great. Yeah, I don't know about this thing. This is, and it's heavier than my phone. I don't know, guys. Don't know. Okay. So my plan with this is to go through these two stacks. Probably like a stack of video, basically. And then I'll go back to the front of this book, which you haven't seen any of these yet, and just kind of walk through like I'm doing without placing them. That's the goal. And then by the time I'm done doing that, I should have more roles developed, I would hope. And there we go. All right, so I have a role, as you saw in this one, and then I have a role that's, I think, weirdly, has been in here in my Canon P rangefinder. Let's set this guy down. I think this role that's been here, let's see, I only have about six more exposures left, or five, depending on how I'm feeling. But I think this role has been in here since last summer. It's the, um, not the biggest fan of Cinestill, but it's the Cinestill black and white. And I'm really curious to see how crunchy that is. I've been overexposing it because I, from the stuff I've seen online, I've been overexposing it by stop, either by the shutter speed or the aperture. Um, just so I can get a little bit more wiggle room in the shadows. But I'm really curious because I forget what's even on it. Um, yeah, okay. So. Hmm. Don't know about that one. Not really doing it for me. I like... I see what I was trying to do. It just there wasn't an interesting enough subject in the foreground with this one. I remember this moment though. It's like I was sitting there waiting for somebody to pass with this framing. She was in view. I snapped it. I was like, nah, we didn't have anywhere particular to be. So I kept waiting. This one's a little bit more interesting. Same idea. Center frame with this guy. He's a little bit more mysterious and interesting, and I think that this person is the same as this person here. Just, she's turned. But there's something about this infinity window thing that I find really interesting. And the blue of the sky is gorgeous, and then his shirt being blue kind of makes the photo for me. Is it something I would hang on my wall? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if it was like... 11 by 14. I don't know. It kind of works in a 4 by 6. It's interesting. This one, this one works for me. This one, it's a, it's a, you know, it's not too good. Okay, so we'll put those there. That'll look good. And then, oh my god, this thing's falling apart. Uh, I'm going to have to switch to the phone. I'm going to have to pause. Okay, i got to figure out a camera situation. All right, so this guy, a uh, gondola dude, right? I don't know their proper name. Um, but I had the gondola here on the right, and it's another sort of infinity window thing. It's the same building, actually. Just, on the, just through one of the pedestrian bridges over the... Um, over the river or the canal. So it's like the same building through one of these pathways here just on the other side and we were having breakfast um, one of the mornings. There she goes. Wow. Well, uh, anyway, got one of these guys. He caught me, as you could see here. If we can get some focus. Good Lord. Okay, oh my god. Ah. Okay, this is, don't worry, this is still fun. Okay, so he, he caught me, right? Red-handed, but it's fine. His, his 
stance is powerful, interesting. He's like, yeah, I'm a gondola guy. So what? Um, I also, as I was saying with the infinity window effect, it was a little hazy and you can kind of, you can kind of see it there towards the back part of the building. You can kind of make out like that there's a little bit of haze in the air back there, which is really cool. But whenever I'm making photographs like this, it's not ideal because it's sort of in a way monochromatic, right? Like, the building has a little bit of color. There's some color here, which I don't mind, but it, it, it doesn't really steal away from the main subject. But the woman in the pink kind of steals it with, like, optical weight a little bit just because it's color. It's a little bit more contrasted. This guy, you don't even really notice until right now, or at least not for me. But of the three, she's dead center, Stealing the show from the gondola guy, but you know, it's fine. I just wanted to get a shot of a gondola person and the gondola here in the bottom right almost makes the pink me, it makes me hate the pink lady less. Uh, not that, not, it's not nothing personal lady, you know, you just happen to be there. But anyway, okay. Ooh, this is a fun one. Maybe this, maybe we'll end here. And this, this guy, it was like a 1950s Americana vibe with the, the Coca-Cola. They love Coca-Cola, right? Um, when, in the colorful buildings, which is part of the, what makes that island so gorgeous and eye-catching. I have many photos of it, which we'll go through, but I love this one. Everything's kind of in the right place for me. I like that he's in the center and he's focused on something. I'm kind of torn though, actually, because there's this one, and then there's also this here with the portrait orientation, and we kind of get out the people that are sitting over here, and the camera's overheating. Wow, okay. Um, but yeah, it, the exposure is a little worse. Again, it's kind of a point and shoot thing. A little too dark under here for, for me. I would hang this one, I think. I think I'd edit out these branches up here, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe this guy's bald head. Lift the exposure here. Pull the exposure down from these light bulbs. And then up the saturation to make the colors really pop. So I think we're going to pair the portrait and the landscape together and then figure out another place to put the gondola guy. Yeah, let's see if I can squeeze that in before my camera dies. All right, this is drama. Small drama, but this is drama. All right, so we're gonna go landscape up top. Also, what I love about this series is that noise is expected, at least from me. Okay. Got that one there. Bada bing. We'll go over here. Let me know if you want a different angle too, by the way. I mean, obviously I'm dwindling on cameras as we're learning. But I do have my, I have my phone and then I have this camera, which actually might be better for like a top down view if that's something you'd like to see. Um, but I don't know that it's fully necessary because I kind of pick the camera up and show you anyway. Let's see. All right. Last little bits here. Wrapping it up. These are preserved pages. Here's what we did today. Feels good. I like looking at these spacings here a little different, but it's okay. I don't care. It's just for me anyway. All right. Before anything else breaks, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.